Pre-video announcement. Wishlist Adventure is roughly 16 days away from launching on Steam. Make sure you guys go wishlist before it launches. Ahoy hoy, Epic Plasma Gamers! Welcome to my devlog series on Little Shells Adventure, a beach themed adventure game about a turtle on a quest to stabby stab to dumb crab dudes. Because all my Epic Plasma Gamers hate crab dudes. This week we have been hard at work on finishing boss battles, writing new music tracks, finishing roguelike mode, creating new smaller dungeons, and creating new NPCs. I have been procrastinating work on this boss for a long time. I have made all of his attacks, but I never made an official start or end to the battle. This week I have been trying to tie loose ends. You can now beat him, which will cause all the enemies to die, and trigger an ending dialogue. I'm not going to show his dialogue for spoiler reasons, but I think he's a pretty cool boss. He gives you a heart when he dies, and then the player can go upwards towards a new and improved subway. This is the fast travel system I've been working on. Once you finish the sewers, you can either go to Farlington, or you can go through the subway to travel to the North Shore or Tiki Town. Because of the sewers and exit to Farlington, the world is starting to feel very connected. Wanna know what else is connected? The Epic Plasma Gamer Community. How do you become an Epic Plasma Gamer? Oh, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you can become an Epic Plasma Gamer yourself. 9 out of 10 professional wrestlers would recommend becoming an Epic Plasma Gamer. This may or may not be a threat. The second village in Little Shows Adventure is now near completion. This is a small boardwalk town that is on the farthest north part of the island. This is where Little Shell and Biggie are originally from. And when you get here, you'll be able to meet Lil Shell's family and progress the story. I'll definitely show more of that in the next devlog, but now I'd like to quickly change gears and show you guys some of the music tracks I've been working on. Without any more delay, here is... Treasure Dungeon Theme. Board Bros. And finally, the North Shore theme. These tracks turned out super good, and if you want to hear the full thing, I've updated the Bandcamp page where you can listen to the whole soundtrack. Yo, hello everyone! This week I got done some pretty cool stuff. Starting off, I finished off the roguelike, making it fully functional in both the beach and dungeon mode. Along with that, I started off with one of the few treasure dungeons. Now, these dungeons are going to be better explained in the game, which you should wishlist on Steam, but basically, this guy wants treasure and wants you to get it. You pick from three different paths and get to the end and grab this thing, and this thing is what allows you to play the arcade machines. I've started work on some of the other machines, but I don't really have anything to show yet other than this. But that's pretty much it, so back over to Shellman. Since Little Adventure is so close to launching, Dagan and I have been spending a lot of our time building out the world. As you can see, we have completely redesigned Tiki Town. Everything feels much more alive and compact, which is a good thing. And quickly I'll go over a checklist of the things we've added. Little Shell and Biggie's Surf Shop, where you'll buy the surfboard sword. Dread Fred, who will help with Little Shell and Biggie's adventure. This Mailman, very cool and Mr. and Mrs. Blob, also very cool. These new additions to Tiki Town are super epic and add so much life to Little Shell's Adventure. Oh, what's Little Shell's Adventure? Okay, so these last few weeks on Little Shell's Adventure have been quite the roller coaster. Some days, the thought of finishing my first Steam game is super motivating and I get a lot stunned. But some other days, the pressure of meeting deadlines and the thought of not finishing makes it super stressful and not fun to work on. I've learned that sometimes us devs get too caught up in working our game that we forget to live life, so I've been trying to strike the right balance this week with working on my game and spending time with friends and family. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, commit stabby stab to dumb crap dudes.